Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is March the 26th, 2021. We're going to give you all the price prediction update in the market for Palantir. You guys can tell this is our current portfolio of five stocks that we are currently watching. You know, you guys can tell even here in the gain since added column that all of our positions are down. We have made a slight movement higher in price. We have recovered some of those losses into the market on yesterday's trading action. So if you're interested in seeing how this market continues to trade in our portfolio, make sure you check us out over the weekend. This is where we're really going to go a little bit in depth in this portfolio to see whether or not we need to get rid of them or can we keep them here in the basket and let the market continue to ride higher in price. And then if we need to add some that we think is going to go higher, then we'll add it then at that particular moment. Just wanted to show you all the quick update of what these stocks look like in terms of performance. So now, if you guys appreciate the video, the content of how we're here to give you all a expectation or a prediction as to where price is going to go, then hit the like button, share, subscribe to the channel. You know, if you want to learn how to call the markets right alongside with us, make sure you tap that bell notification so you do not miss out on our content that we are creating here on youtube so real quick i asked you all a question yesterday in our community you know which stock do you want to see a price prediction for today and overwhelmingly 62 percent of all the votes came in for palantir so we'll do one today into the market in palantir and being fully transparent with each and every one of you we did a price prediction into the market in palantir on the 15th of march and we didn't get it right we missed it you know, rather than the strength being maintained into the market in Palantir on the 15th, it decided to go lower in price, right? But you guys can even tell that we still had an area of support in the market for Palantir around $21.25. In order for us to really see our prior price prediction come to fruition, the price had to stay above $23.50, which it broke about two days ago on march 23rd so yeah this prediction didn't go correct and it will happen you know there will be opportunities to where you get the prediction wrong and this is such an instance to where the market in palantir or the trap didn't go the way that we expected him to go he continued to drop the price in palantir so if we were to get out right now into the market we'll be down almost 15.67 percent though okay so the only thing that we can do is learn from that, see what happened as to how the market wasn't able to maintain the strength and make sure that we try to alleviate that on the next go around. So let's take away that and let's get a fresh look as to how the market in Palantir is really trading, you know, because this area here is massive. I cannot emphasize enough how $21 is a very strong area of support. I want to show you why as you all can see here that the market in Palantir, even with the amount of volume, you guys can tell we've seen some increases in volume when the market in Palantir was trading around $21, right? We see these major spikes into the market in Palantir at that particular time. So what does it mean? Well, it simply means that the bigger institutions are participating into the market in Palantir around $21. They're simply here into the market purchasing as many Palantir shares as they can that's available around $21. So seeing how the market in Palantir is not really up here around $30, do we really need to see that? Do we need to keep that? Or do we need to lower it to where it can be more beneficial to us in terms of where market restriction is into the market in Palantir okay now what direction do you think the market in Palantir is really going through because we need to address that are we in a massive downtrend in Palantir see if I can switch this back over to the daily you all can see here that yes the market in Palantir is in a downtrend it is obeying this downside line that I've just created to a T for some reason, the market in Palantir has been unable to break above that descending line. Now, yesterday was a crossroads. Yesterday was a massive indication as to whether or not this market in Palantir is going to break the overall downward trend. I mean, we've seen consecutive days 
to where the market could not even break above that descending line. That is massive. Now, from yesterday's trade in action, definitely lets me know that it's going to happen, which means that we're going to translate or transition over from a downward movement in Palantir to even one of going higher in price. Okay. So I'm not even really all that weak into the market in Palantir, even though our last price prediction didn't go right. I'm still actually seeing the strength come to fruition into the market in Palantir. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to show you on a two day time frame. How does the market in Palantir look? Currently, the market here is giving us a little bit of strength. My only concern is right around twenty four dollars, maybe even up here towards twenty five dollars and twenty five cents as restriction. OK, now this is our second opportunity to see the trap come in and prop up Palantir around twenty two dollars. Right. This is it. So if we see any more weakness right here around $22 for Palantir, I'm here to tell you that we will break that to the downside and the next area of support is going to be around 18. Now, a lot of people may not want to hear that, but that is what we're seeing into the market in Palantir, considering if he is not successful at keeping that price above $22, we got to anticipate where would be the next likely support area. So yes, initially in this current period, the market is holding support around $21, which is great, which lets me know that the market in Palantir is still inching to go higher in price. Now we really need to see how strong that is though, because as of this moment, the market is not showing us a lot of euphoric anticipation of breaking out to the upside, if you want to say, if anything, I'm seeing right up here towards maybe $23, $24 as the next area of restriction into the market for Palantir. The three day time frame, I'm not seeing a lot of bullishness. The two day time frame, I'm not seeing that much bullishness. Even here on the five day, the market is not giving, giving us that much bullishness here in Palantir. So I really want to emphasize to you that even though we are going to play the strength into the market in Palantir, we had to place it into a reasonable expectation as to how high the price is going to go. And I told you uh, right here around $23.25, which is only about 3% movement from where we closed on yesterday's trading, all the way up here towards $24, which is 6.5%. And that's about it. Okay. Is a very tight area to which the market in Palantir can trade. Now, yes, we're going to play the strength into the market here, but keep in mind, I show you all these different time frames that we're not really seeing that much emphasis of market strength here in Palantir. I really won't get bullishness. I really won't feel that the market is going to break out and continue to go higher in price until we see a break above $24. That's where it's at. Okay, the longer we trade below. $24, then the price break is below 21 is definitely increasing. All right. So keep your eyes open on that. But yeah, this is it. This is what we're seeing so far into the market in Palantir playing just slight strength into the market. I'm not expecting that it's going to be a massive breakout to the upside until, like I said, we break above $24. Okay. Now, short term, I mean, it's not a lot, but this is what we're expecting the trap to do over the next couple of trading days into the market in Palantir, playing slight strength because currently the trend hasn't broken. And we're in that process right now of breaking that downward line that I had on the chart. So now you tell me, what do you all see into the market in Palantir? Do you all expect us to see some higher price movement? And if, 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 even if you think the price is going to go higher, I want you all to drop the comment below and tell me how high you think the market is going to go for us. Like I said, maybe around twenty four dollars ultimately is where we're looking for this market to try to tag out at. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, you know, trade different.